Hello, everyone, and welcome to our very first Lash Tips Lives in 2022. My name is Stephanie Payne Show, and I am here with, oh, I mirrored my screen is this way now, Tracy Dickey. We are going to talk to you all about lashes. Welcome, Tracy. How are you tonight? I'm good, except for the monsoon here in Saskatchewan, Canada. <laughs> yes, we had quite a bit of rain, so drop a hashtag down below that says hashtag live or hashtag replay, and stay tuned in this next little bit. It's going to tell you how you can get entered to win the participation prizes, the purchase prizes. We even have a prize for if you want to be a promoter and help out your affiliate and share the link and earn amazing rewards. So drop a hashtag down below. Let us know if you're catching us hashtag live or hashtag replay. We are on StreamYard. So that means if you give Facebook permission, we can actually post your comments and your picture on the screen during the live broadcast. So tonight we have a number of amazing leaders from coast to coast. We have Newfoundland, we have West Coast, we have BC. So we have everyone in between. We are excited to be here with you. If you are affiliates watching, tag your customers, get them connected to this live video. And remember, if you're not able to watch the whole live, you can always come back and catch the replay. So welcome to the Lash Bash. Tracy and I are going to be your guides throughout the evening. And let's talk a little bit about the participation prizes. So participation prizes, every time you enter a comment, that will get you entered to win. We also have a very special StreamYard giveaway going tonight that I'm going to do live. You're going to help me test out a brand new thing in StreamYard. StreamYard is our broadcasting tool that we're on with tonight. You are going to comment hashtag lashes. And when you do that, it actually feeds to a screen and I can see the entries coming in. We are going to draw part of the way part of the way through for a $10 TV gift card, which you can use to make a purchase, which could get you in for the purchase prizes. So Tracy, we are starting the live event tonight. It will be available on replay until Thursday night. So people can comment, tag friends, add them in any purchases before Thursday night get, at midnight, will get you entered to win purchase prizes. And we have two $25 purchase prizes plus a $50 TV gift card. Thank you to Tori Bell for supporting us in this new venture. Tracy, what should people know about this live event? Um, you are gonna find out just a little bit of information about everything lashes, um, some of the current sales that we have on, some application methods, um, a little bit about the business, but we're gonna keep it short and sweet. So if you have any questions at all, um, just get back to the affiliate that invited you to this group. Um, if you're not sure who that is, then drop a comment below and one of us will be sure to get back to you. Um, if you know someone in the group and you want to tag that person, tag one of us that you see here tonight, then we will make sure to get back and answer all of the questions that you have. And we wanted to remind everybody right now that I'm see I'm used to being reversed on StreamYard. We have an amazing birthday sale. That's why we are celebrating lashes today and all things lashes. All of the lashes are on sale. The lash liner bundles are on sale. We're going to talk about everything that you'd possibly need to get started with lashes. And if you already have classic liner, magnetic mascara, or gold liner, you can add new lashes for $32 and the bundles are $58. We also have a special buy four, get one free deal. And that runs until the end of June. But if you purchase before Thursday at midnight, that gets you to enter to win over... 100 over oh, like 200 dollars in prizes so 50 dollars for our big purchase prize draw and 225 dollars purchase prizes as well so keep tagging your friends i see that people are already adding comments so we will get those added in momentarily tracy anything else we need to talk about before we get well going? there is no purchase necessary so if you um want to follow along and maybe you're not prepared to purchase just yet but want a chance to earn that one of those or win one of those gift cards to um, offset the cost of something that you've been looking at, then comment, comment, comment. And all of those comments, we'll be doing some draws from those as well. As well, like Steph said, it can be live or on the replay until midnight on Thursday. So stay tuned, tag your friends. We are going to get things started. So we have a short video for you and then I'll be up next with Renee and I are going to talk about how do you pick out some different types of lashes. Wow. 
So that was one of our selfie lashes. And we have Renee here. We're going to go full screen here so you can see Renee better. She is on the East Coast, far East Coast. It is 1035 in Newfoundland right now. So drop a comment down below. Let us know if you are catching this from the East Coast. And again, comment hashtag lashes. All of those entries get entered into one of our big prize giveaways. So, Renee, let's talk about how we would go through picking lashes. Renee has one on and one off, so there's a good before and after. She's back in a little bit to talk about how to do classic liners. So, how do I pick different types of lashes, Renee? What would you say is the place to start? First, you have to know if you have hooded eyes. And I so, have hooded eyes. So, that means that I have. Well, I can't do it on that one. This one here, there's extra skin. So it kind of hides your eyelid. So like you have more space up here and not as much here. So when I'm picking eyelashes, when I first joined, I didn't know what I needed. And I know I, I thought I would wear a really short <laughs> lash all the yes. time. It turns out I like big lashes. And also these are purple lashes. So drop a comment down below. Let us know if you love purple lashes or colored lashes. We have all sorts of amazing lashes. Uh, one of the other things that I was just showing here is we have a place where you can go through and take a look at the different types of lash styles. You might recognize these eyes. They are our amazing Jolene work. She has put together an amazing amount of graphics for all of us. So often an affiliate will tag you here and say, let us know what catches your eye. There are different styles of lashes. So Renee, what's the difference between a cat eye and a doe eyelash. So a cat eyelash, it's going to be thinner on the inside and going to be longer on the outside. As opposed to our doe eye, it looks kind of like a half moon. So it's shorter on either side of your eye and then longer in the middle. And you can always adjust the lashes. So the lashes are 10 magnets wide. We encourage you to try them the full width and then trim them down. We usually, I usually trim off a couple magnets. And if it's a doe eye, that changes the shape a little bit. The other question I always ask people and drop a comment down below and let me know if you wear glasses is I wear glasses all the time. So really big lashes and glasses don't always cooperate. So reach out to your affiliate, have them talk to us about if they, if, these lashes work with glasses. So uh, there are lots of styles that do. It just depends how big you want to go. If you like super big lashes, contacts might be uh, a great starting point for that. But there are a lot of lashes that fit well with glasses. So don't hesitate if you have glasses to try those on. And so Renee, anything else? We have a choice of magnetic or adhesive, and we're going to talk about that tonight. Uh, Renee, any preference between magnet magnetic and adhesive? Um, for me, it kind of depends. If I'm in a real big hurry in the morning and I still need my lashes, I will grab my adhesives because there's no drying time. You just put it on and put your lash on, you're ready to go. Um, for the magnetics, I usually like to wear those in the evenings because I'll use anchors with them, especially if I'm going out around town. Um, and there are a lot more choices. Yes. So, Adhesives super quick. Tracy's going to come up next. I think those are kind of our big things. Do you have glasses? What's the shape of your eye? Hooded eyes, you want to make sure the lashes are long enough. If you're not sure, tag your affiliate that invited you to this live event. Let them know that you want to see those pictures of the different styles and they will help guide you through. There is also the virtual try-on. So if you haven't tried that already, uh, watch this video. And if you have tried the virtual try-on, drop a comment down below and let us know. So we will see Renee back in a few minutes. to hop on really quick and talk to you about lashes. Now how amazing it are these? They are so light and easy to wear but check this out. I think I want to change the style up so I am just going to go like this and there it is. I have lashes on to show you. How did I do that? I'm on my website. We have virtual try on which means I can try on lashes, lips, or eyes but I can easily scroll through the different lashes and change up my look super quick. 
so that I can see what it looks like. I can even split screen to show you what it looks like if I had this lash on versus my just mascara on my natural lashes. So here I can move it over and show you what that looks like. And so back with me is Tracy. That was a quick overview of how to do the virtual try-on. Ask your affiliate for their website. That will be on the homepage. You just scroll down, give the camera access. You can do a live video, or you can take a picture like I had at the end and try on all of the different lashes onto those. So I'm gonna turn it over to Tracy. She is going to talk to us about adhesives, and then we'll be back with our next lash demo. Take it away, Tracy. So adhesives are one of my favorite. And like Renee said, there's absolutely no drying time. So I find it such a quick little addition in the morning. And um, adhesives come in four different styles. Now there was just one new style released today and that is the selfie. So it is very similar to the magnetic selfie. You will know that you are, um, that you have adhesives when you have them in a white box. So the adhesives come on this clear um, little case. They are also customizable to your eyes. So if you do have a set of magnetic lashes, then you can trim them to the exact same length. Um, you can also try them, like Steph said, highly recommended before you do any trimming. So I am going to demonstrate for you tonight the bold lash. So when the lash comes off of the little case, a bold lash is a cat eye, so it's longer on this end um, than it is here. So I just give them a little roll and um, I am going to just go ahead and apply. So I'm applying clear liner tonight so that it will have that no liner look. Um, the adhesive does come in brown and black and I had um, quite a few dance moms use the adhesives for dance um, over this past dance season. So with dance here in Saskatchewan back up and um, rolling they were loving the adhesives. The girls um, can apply them on their own. So as you can see, we just do a thin line. If you wear eyeliner, it will be just on top of that liner. Um, and I do have our new liner on today, so it doesn't have to dry at all. I give this a little roll, and then I am just going to set the lash right along my natural lash line. And as you can see, I do have, um, one thin coat of mascara on and I do that just so that my natural lashes blend um, with the adhesives. Once the lash is where you want it, I just give it a quick little pinch so that there is absolutely no gap and you are good to go. So absolutely no dry time. I wear um, adhesive lashes for an entire day um, and I get they say 10 to 15 wears out of a pair I know I've gotten over double that with some of my adhesive lashes um, I know that a couple of my dance moms um, when you are using the darker the black or the brown liner um, you do have to you will get a little bit of residue on the lash so that just take your thumbnail scrape that off and your lashes are good to go um, because they Tori Bell says 10 to 15 wears for adhesive lashes. You get two um, sets of adhesive lashes with your liner. So Steph's just got an example there of the styles um, that are available. So I'll just do one um, nice and close. You can see that there's um, no liner look. Looks very natural and but does make a big difference. So there is the lash and without. So I'll just do one and I'll pop the other one on when you guys are talking. So thank you, Tracy. So that is the adhesive lash, the fastest way to put on a lash, literally a couple minutes. I have worn them all day in 35 degree heat at the ball diamond uh, and around in the summertime. They work absolutely amazing and they do stand up in the wind. So do our magnetics. So we're going to show you a quick little video. Tracy mentioned a couple ways that you can prep a lash. We have a super short video to transition us to Renee to learn more about the classic liner. Cool. 
So we are back. Renee is here with us. We are super excited to learn more about classic eyeliner. So classic magnetic liner is one way that you can apply it directly to the lid. Renee is going to talk to us about this. And also remember Renee gave us some hooded eye tips earlier. She's going to talk about that as well. So let us know down below in the comments. Remember hashtag lashes is how you can get entered into the StreamYard draw more comments every comment is a chance to win we're going to draw some at the end of the live i'm going to try and make that get the stream yard one going during the live but drop any questions you have for renee down below and we will be back after this demo so take it away renee hello well the first thing you need to do is do you have hooded eyes ah uh, you can do a little test if you have excess skin like this you have hooded eyes so i started out wearing cat eye shape and as I said before, cat eye is in the corner of your eye is shorter and on the outer corner, it's longer. So it gives you that cat eye shape. So depending on the shape of your eye, depends on if you like that look or not. So I actually started wearing the doe eye and this is the doe eye. So if you can see it's longer in the middle and then shorter on each end. So I actually had to trim these when I got them. And to keep it uh, doe eye, I trimmed uh, one on either corner. So now we're going to do classic liner. So I shook it and when you get it, you want to give it a really good shake. You want to make sure all the iron oxide that's in it is all ready mixed up. Pull it straight out and you'll get excess on the ends. So what you want to do is either dab it on your hand or dab it on like a clean paper towel, and then you're going to apply it. So I have my little mirror here and I'm going to do my best so that you can see me applying it. So you want to put on two coats and if your hand is not that steady, that's okay. You can start in the middle, work out, and then go to the inner corner and then move out. Now, as I said, I have hooded eyes. So with hooded eyes, if I blink now, I will get this on my lid. So I have to stay back, keep my head tilted for a little bit, let this dry for about 30 seconds because you want to do two coats. Your first coat, you let dry for 30 seconds. Then you shake it again and you put on your second coat. And then you let that one dry for two minutes. So pull straight out, dab it. You don't want to dab it on here. The product will dry up, fall in, and ruin your liner. You don't want to do that. So now we'll go with the second coat. And you go right across, and you let it dry. So typically what I would do in between here, when I'm waiting for this to dry, I'll wait another 30 seconds before I tip my head back. And then I will go ahead and start applying the rest of my makeup. So I'll probably put on mascara, finish up lips, just do everything else, just waiting for that to dry. And then the last thing I'll do on my way out is put on my lash and it's ready to go. That is absolutely awesome. So that is how we apply classic liner. Did you want me to, we're going to come back to you or you want yes, to? This has to dry for at least another minute. Okay. I just wanted to double check. So we are going to come back to Renee. She's going to wait patiently here. We have a video from one of our amazing affiliates talking about why they love Tori Bell. So we will be back right away. Two reasons that I love Tori Bell. One would be our amazing magnetic lashes and for how they make me feel inside and out. The second would be all the women and all the training and support that we receive is totally invaluable. Those are the two reasons why I love Tori Bell. So we are back. We are going to go. I'm going to bring Renee back and just double check to see if it is dry yet. I'm adding Jolene and Megs as well. Renee, do you want to wait until after this next segment? And then we'll I'll have to. Mine is still wet. And so if it's humid out or it's a little bit warmer, sometimes it can take a little bit longer to dry. The, 
the nice part about the classic liner is you can wait and let it dry for a very long period of time before you put the lashes on. So you could put it on, finish the rest of your makeup, get dressed, and then put the lashes on. It will be ready for you. You are better to wait and make sure that it's dry, then rush it and put it on while it's wet, which is a little bit different technique than a couple of the ones that we're going to talk about next. So Renee, we will come back to you in a little bit. And let's introduce you to Megs and Jolene, two of our amazing affiliates, and they are going to talk about gold liner versus magnetic line or magnetic mascara. So they are going to talk to you about that and do a head to head side by side application. And then we're going to pause for a moment, run a quick little intro video to compare anchors versus on the eye when you apply the lash that way. And then they will be back to talk to you about the difference between classic liner, which Renee did and the gold and the magnetic mascara. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Take it away. Hello. 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 <laughs> so I am joining from Ontario. Where are you joining from, Jolene? I am in BC, Northern BC. So, so a little bit of a time difference here. My bedtime, then probably Jolene's just getting off work for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're for all ends around here. We covered everything. So that's right. Um, so today, like Steph mentioned, uh, Jolene and I are going to be doing a demo using our gold liner and our magnetic mascara. So I'm going to be doing the mascara. Um, I think mine has a little extra time for drying. So maybe I'll go first and then Jolene's um, doesn't take as long to dry. So the magnetic um, mascara has a dual uh, wand. So one end is a mag. Um, a uh, mascara spoolie and then the other end is just a regular liner brush um so the same product is in both ends um so it's not different um and i'm going to show you how i like to apply it um i usually go back and forth between the gold and the mascara um i don't know jolene would you say that mascara has a bit of a stronger hold yeah, I think if you're wanting, um, especially like if you didn't want to wear the anchors or anything like that, the mascara is good. Um, the biggest difference I find between the gold and the mascara is the mascara dries a little bit um, harder. So yes. like the base of your lashes feel a little bit more hard rather than yeah. the gold. That's yeah. the thing that I notice the most. But yeah, certainly. Um... I find there's a difference, especially during removal. So if you'll notice, I'm going in with the um, mascara spoolie in. And what you want to do is just apply it. And you're almost just going to the base and then pressing up. The magnetic mascara is quite liquidy. And so it does take a little bit getting used to. A lot of people will go like a regular mascara and then all of a sudden your eye is all black because it's just so liquidy. Um, so just be mindful of that and look, I'm just put, basically setting it where I want it and then just give it a tiny little wiggle. And so I'm going to be wearing this with anchors today. And so I'm just applying it basically at the base of the lash so I'm going to let that dry and Jolene's going to go and get started with the cold do you wear regular mascara with it as well I do I do I find anytime I wear anchors um I will wear regular mascara for two things one it gives your lash a little bit of substance because your lashes are so silky, right? So things slide so easily. And when you're wearing anchors, you want them to really hold and not have any slide. So I find regular mascara helps with that. And then it also helps in blending the lash because I'm not pulling this right through to the end because you don't need your whole lash to have magnetic properties. You're just putting it at the base. So it helps to blend my natural lash into the full lash. Nice. Yeah, <clears throat> I find the same thing. Um, I have white blonde lashes. So if you're somebody out there that has the white blonde lashes, I highly recommend wearing regular mascara before you do any of the applications, including the adhesives, just because it's going to help it blend so nice. So I'm using the gold liner. So obviously I have one eye done already. Um, so the biggest thing is make sure that you shake up your tube, you tap it because um, like we talked about the iron oxide, which makes it magnetic settles at the bottom 
Um, if you're wondering what little anchors are, these, I'll show you these little guys here. I'm going to apply them. I saw a question about the anchors. So most of the lashes come with these little magnetic lashes, and I'm going to show you how you can use those. So <clears throat> um, like I said, I'm wearing regular mascara first because our lashes are so fine, like Meg was talking about, um, it helps the liner adhese better. So this is what the wand looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint underneath my natural lashes. Now this, this gold liner is safe to go on your natural lashes. You don't want to use the classic liner that Renee used for this technique. That's not meant for your um, natural lashes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right underneath and I'm just going to dab in the middle and the outer corner and the inner corner. So hopefully you can see that. And you can lift your eye up if you need to. Um, and I just go in with two. And I don't, um, you can have drying time. Me personally, I don't have drying time with this. Um, you just have to be more careful when you take the anchors off that you don't like pull your lashes off, like mm -hmm. your magnetics. You just gently lift them up with your fingernail or tweezers or something so that you're not um, ripping them off of your natural lashes. I don't get breakage of my natural lashes or anything like that. I've had that question. So you wanna make sure you have a good amount um, and where you want the anchors to sit. So I only use three anchors. You can use more if you want, but I personally don't ever feel like I need to. And all the lashes come with anchors except our illusion lashes. So this is what it looks like and you wanna make sure it's pointing up because if you have it pointed this way, the little lashes are gonna poke you in the eye. And you don't want that. So I start in the middle. I go as close to my lash as I can. And I kind of drag it up. And then it's going to stick to that liner. And I give it a little press. The biggest thing that's going to help you with this technique is plastic tweezers. So we do have these available. Um, you can use metal ones. But obviously when you're using metal and you're using magnets, the anchors are going to stick to the metal and it makes it more difficult. But it's a game changer. If you've ever tried to apply the anchors with your fingers, it can be <laughs> a little bit more tricky. So then I put one in the outer corner, give it just a little press, and in the inner corner. One more. And obviously this technique does take some practice, mm -hmm. but once you get it, like I do this every single day, five minutes or less, right? And you don't, I don't have a lot of drying time with this either. So the lashes I'm going to apply are Alexandrite. I think that's how you say them. They're the ones with the purple. And they're going to just, you start in the inner corner. It's going to snap to that lash. You gently pull it across. And I pinch the lashes together just so it gives a nice, um, nice, togetherness oh. I guess so they don't look separate mm -hmm. and then if you need to lift them you just gently lift them off and you could put a different set on and then as you could see like I, I do the blink and and you can blink them right on those anchors snap them on and that's it so you have that no liner look and you can switch them up and it lasts all day and they're not going to go anywhere <clears throat> So I'm going to go in and apply my lash now. So you, somebody asked if you can wear it with just the mascara or do you need the liner and anchors? So the answer to that is yes, you can. So what you would want to do is um, you would use, after going underneath, um, you would use the liner end of this. And what you would do is you would dab it on top of your lash. So just really gently right along that lash line and let it dry. Um, because it is really liquidy, there is a chance it's probably not going to fully dry unless you left it there for a long time. So you are probably going to put it on when it's a little bit damp. Now, my FYI warning to everybody is when you're wearing the liner on your lid, you can blink all day and the friction from your natural lash isn't going to bother the full lash. But when you're wearing them sitting on your regular lash, it just is more wear um, and movement on that full lash. So can you do it? Yes. Have I done it? No. 
<laughs> I usually will just throw an anchor on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing in that I'm going to apply the anchors first. So hopefully you can see this and I'm going to show how I show my, be my beginners. So I like to lift my lash up a little bit and then I'm going to, here's my anchor magnet facing up. This is all about angles. Like Jolene said, you're not going to go in like that because A, it's going to hurt <laughs> if you get it in your eye, and B, it's not going to connect to the magnets on your lash, so you want it to sandwich together. So I have product on, I'm going into my lash line, and I'm just going to sit it, and of course, on a live, it's not going to go right away. I may have actually let it dry too long, but that's okay. So you just basically apply it where you want it, and then same technique as Jolene, just press it up. So once it's in place, I only apply one like that. And the reason being is anchors can be challenging. So when you just apply the middle, A, I find the middle is the easiest one to apply. But then you can go in and set your full lash down, basically where you want it. And now it's on there. So it's not going to move. So it gives a little bit more subtle when you go and apply your other two anchors. It just makes it easier. So now I'm gonna go in, same technique. I'm gonna hold the lash down where I want it, go into the lash line, slowly drag out, and it connects. So I have my outer one on, and now I'm gonna go in with the inner. So again, you just wanna watch, make sure your lash, because I put it on with that middle one first, it's in place. So you're gonna go in, lift it up, go into that lash line, drag out, and it connects. Now you just go across like Jolene did, pressing it into place. And those lashes are on until you take them off. Yeah. I don't recommend sleeping in them, but I have. <laughs> And you can wear them for 40 plus hours because I did on the way home from conference in Vegas. Not that I would recommend that. There was only a two hour nap in there and a couple naps on the plane, but they do last a very long time. You can check out the videos that we have about wind testing the lashes in Saskatchewan. I know Renee has worn them in Newfoundland and they get even stronger winds than we do here in Saskatchewan. I'm going to do a quick video that, oh, go ahead. I was just going to show you real quick. We have um, these lovely little lash stackers. They come in many different colors and it can change up your look in seconds. So we call this lash stacking. And I guess this would be lash stacking with a little bit of fancy. So you just place that right over top. And now you have a lash with some silver it's perfect. I am going to do a really short video here that shows the difference between applying it on your eyelid and then with the anchor method. So you can see it's just slightly different angles of the lashes. Uh, for me with glasses, when I put longer lashes on with anchors, it angles them up a little bit so I can wear longer lashes with this method with my glasses. But that, of course, depends on whether you have the nose pieces on your glasses or not. I'm going to bring Renee on. I think it'll be dry so she can put the lash on and then we'll get you to do the classic versus the gold. How would I decide kind of which liner to go with? So we'll be right back in about 15 seconds. <laughs> So I am back with Renee. She's going to show us how to put the lash on. We're going to bring Jolene and Megs back in just a few seconds. So this is how fast you can apply a lash once it's dry. And I think Renee, we had a question about, does the classic liner have to be completely dry before you put the lash on? Yes, it does. It's not like the goal liner at all. The formula is different. So when you use the classic liner and it's not hard to tell our liners apart, the classic liner is black and the gold liner tube is gold. So you do have to wait for it to dry and my la my liner is dry. So now we're gonna go from pumpkin to Cinderella. <laughs> Here we go. 
that fast. That's that how fast. once the liner is dry. So just putting the liner on using the tips that Renee said, give it lots of time to dry. The other really nice part when you give it lots of time to dry, I, I have applied it when it's not quite dry. And if you want to take your lash off because you decided that one lash is over slightly more than the other lash, uh, then it does sometimes take that liner off just because it hasn't had time to dry. And if you have oily eyelids like me, we have some tips and techniques for how to make that classic liner work even better. But everybody's eyelids have a different sort of, not different texture, but different chemistry on our body. So some people apply the liner directly to the eyelids. Some people use a setting powder or I do eyeshadow. And then I actually line with a pencil liner first and then it's super easy for me to follow with the classic liquid liner and then then I let it dry and put it on and that stays best for me, but it's completely up to you. But no, if you have any problems or troubles with your lashes, we are here to help you troubleshoot because we have experienced those different ones. So Renee, we are going to bring Jolene and Megs back and we'll have them tell us a little bit more about classic liner versus gold liner. So here are Megs and Jolene, and I'm going to do a uh, stream. I'm now combining <laughs> words, screen share for you through stream yard. And so, and then I have a couple questions that have popped up here. So I'm going to pull us out Renee and we'll leave the two of them to talk about it. And then we'll come back with some questions. All right. Um, so I guess I'll take the classic and you can take the gold. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, so classic is what I recommend to all of my beginners. Um, when you don't want to have to think about how to use the anchors, the classic can be a great option. Um, the biggest tips with classic liner would be um, dry time um, and eye prep. So eye prep in that, um, like Steph mentioned, our, lid, our eyelids are naturally oily. Everybody's are. Some are more oily than others. I certainly do have um, an oil, oilier eyelid. Um, so prep is super important. So some tips, um, a setting powder, um, a pencil liner. Those are some good ways um, to add a barrier. And, um, and then dry time. So that first coat, I usually let dry a minute. And then the second coat, I go, I mean, I usually let it go a, a while, like a few minutes. I usually do the rest of my makeup. Not that you need to, I think probably within the two to three minute range, it should be fairly dry. Um, but they are hypoallergenic. Um, I've had very few people react and typically actually two people in in all of the time um and when they've tried one of them has tried a pencil liner as a barrier and it totally um helped eliminate any um any irritation and then the second one person is about to try that technique and let me know um so it's waterproof it's smudge proof um, and like I said, it is certainly the one I recommend for beginners so if you are somebody who does have some sensitive um, eyes, we would recommend the gold. Yes, so the gold. <clears throat> so this is my go-to, but like Meg said, if I have somebody asking me, what is the easiest way to apply the lashes, I usually um, refer them to the classic liner first until they're comfortable using lashes, especially if you haven't before. So the gold liner, it is extra hypoallergenic. So both the liners are hypoallergenic, but this one is extra gentle. So if you are somebody that has more sensitive eyes, this may be a ten, uh, technique for you. Um, it is water resistant. It's not waterproof. Um, it, you don't have to wait for this one to dry. So this one can go on your lids or apply it like I did on your natural lashes. Um, if you're applying it to your lid, I recommend about three coats of it and don't let it completely dry. You want it to be a bit tacky first. It doesn't have as strong of a hold as a classic liner for the lid, the liner on the lid. And I do recommend using a liquid liner or a pencil liner in between your lid and the magnetic liner. Like they were saying, it gives a barrier for the oils of your lid and the liner won't lift. Um, always give it a good shake. If you are somebody with hooded eyes, I've had a lot of people asking me, I have hooded eyes. I actually, even though the anchors can be tricky for a first time, I actually, um, recommend the anchors and the gold liner on your natural lashes for hooded eyes because, um, 
like Renee was talking about, there is some troubles with the liner on the lid and, and it getting up higher and you want the lashes to come up and over. So when you do apply it with the anchors, it gives a different angle like Stephanie was saying. So, but that's, that's the biggest thing. It can be used for both ways. Um, but I, my favorite way to use it is on the natural lashes with the anchors. And what I tell everybody is these lashes work that I will stand behind every second of every day. So if you are committed, you will get it. Yeah. So we have a couple questions here and I know we have a special behind the scenes guest that we'll talk to in about five or 10 minutes here. Uh, so one question was about the shelf life. And so shelf life of the liner, if it's not opened, how long will it last? Uh, six months to a year yeah. is what we're told. Um, and opened, I'm actually trialing a few different things. I've uh, recommended for people, for me, <laughs> nothing expires because yes. I wear lashes every day. So I've not run into that problem. Um, but I'm thinking it's really about drying out, right? So what can we do to put moisture in? So I've recommended actually a couple to the dance moms to during in between seasons, um, putting it in a Ziploc bag with a moist um, paper towel. So we're going to give that a go. I'll let you know how it goes. But once it's open, I would aim to use it within three to three ish months. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably the, the best you can stretch it longer, certainly, but after you've taken it out and put it on your eye and put it back in and back and forth, um, it does have properties in it to help decrease any bacteria that gets in. But once it's opened, if you, it goes a long time, um, it could, it, it's best to use it within three months, or it might, it might dry out. That was why they said, I think Renee said, pull it straight out. And don't wipe it on the top, because those particles will dry and fall back in and you don't want it clumping inside in the magnetic particles uh, being pulled together like that. So we did have one other question while the two of you are here. And that was the inside corners of their lashes I believe that people mentioned in I'm pointing over here because that's where I see the feed of comments mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes the inside corners lift on people and I know I've had that happen with brand new lashes and so bending in between each magnet is really important and doing that kind of bend and roll uh, helps to prep the lash making sure you trim it so that it's not if it's too wide then the more your eye moves during the day, the more it'll that skin will flex there. So you want to make sure it's the right width. Uh, we don't recommend trimming before you've tried them, though, because you can't put the lash back together. But you can mm -hmm. take one magnet off at a time. So you kind of get to know that part. Um, and you could use an anchor on that inside. But other tips or things that you would recommend to people? Um, yeah, <clears throat> actually, I find that um, I think it's all about placement of your lashes too. That plays a big part of it. So if you have the liner on your lid, I find that a lot of ladies are trying to wear their lashes right in the inner corner of their eye. Sorry if you hear my dog. She sounds like she's dying in the background. Anyways, um, they want to put the lashes right in the inner corner, but you actually want to wear your lashes um, further over, like almost where the color of your eye starts. Because if you're putting it too close in the middle it really has that bend first of all you can make them more flexible but the blinking of your eyes they're going to that's where a lot of the momentum and movement's going to be right so mm -hmm. um and that's where if you also have it too long on the outside it's going to do the same thing it's going to lift on the outside so it's all about the fit and um you know not getting it too close to the inside because a lot of us want to do that, right? We want to put the liner right in the right to our inside corner, um, but you actually just move it over a little bit. That makes a huge difference. Or like Stephanie said, <coughs> excuse me, um, using an anchor. Yep. And that commonly troubleshooting, it's it's one of three things. I prep because of the oily lid, dry time, or trimming. Those are one of the three issues happening um, for sure. 
So we should we should have a disclaimer that says we show you how to drop a lash, we show you how to slide a lash, uh, but we've had a lot of practice and you don't see all of the outtakes to make all of those those work on a regular basis. So we've had we've put lashes on hundreds of times. That's why it looks easier for us. But if you ever have any trouble with the lashes, tag your affiliate, reach out to them, let them know if they're not quite sure how to help troubleshoot. We are here as an entire community to help you figure out how to make the lashes work for you. And like both Jolene and Megs have said, everybody has everybody's eyelids are a little bit different. Everybody's lashes are a little bit different. So we just need to find the technique that works best for you. So one big thing, remember, Jolene said classic liner does not go on your lashes. Classic liner adheres really, really well. So after this short video, we are going to go live to Andrea in Montreal. She is going to talk about how you take the lashes off because people sometimes say you tell us how to put them on, but you haven't told us how to take them off. So we have a short video from a couple of our affiliates out on the East Coast to tell us all about why they love Tori Bell. We will be right back. Hi there, it's Andrea and Lynn from Montreal. I want to tell you why I love my Tori Bell lashes. I love the Tory Bell lashes for one simple reason. I can change up my look on a daily basis. And I love Tory Bell not just for the lashes, but because we get to work with the most amazing team from across Canada. That's why we're here and that's why we love Tory, Tory Bell. Bell. So we are back with Andrea live, I believe, from Montreal and area, and she is going to actually do this in French and English. So we're going to test her ability to remove lashes in dual language. So Andrea, take it away. And then up next, we have Michelle, who's going to talk about all of the different things we have in Tory Bell. Donc, bonjour, mesdames. Bonjour de Montréal. Je suis tellement fière d'être là parmi vous. Donc, euh, je vais vous montrer comment enlever nos cils. So that's it. As Stephanie said, we're going to take off our lashes now. Um, I switched up my look today. So um, which we're lashes are these? I know that's a uh, question we'll get in the comments. Somebody will ask, what lashes do you have on? Okay, so I doubled up my look. So um, as Migs was talking about before, I stacked mine. So I'm wearing Jet Setter and then I put Ladies Night on top. So I got to make my own little look today. Donc, c'est les Jet Setter. Puis par-dessus, j'ai mis le Ladies Night. Fait que là, j'ai pu faire mon propre look pour la journée. So to take them off, I... Oh, and just to mention, I put mine with liner and a couple of anchors in the corners, as recommended earlier. And it works perfectly. So, let's so do this. Use, you can use liner and anchors together. Look at how she's pulled from the base. So she's lifted up at the base rather than pulling out on lashes. If you pull on the lashes, uh, eventually over time, that'll weaken where it attaches to the base. So you're best if you do just like she did, lift them up from the bottom and pull them off. So one more yeah. time. And well, I'm just going to kind of like slide off with my nail, the tiny anchors. And it's kind of just like a little back and forth or you can use your fingernail and just slide that off. Yeah, yeah, very gently. And it doesn't take much. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know if my camera's gonna zoom in on this, but it doesn't take just... much, um, much pressure at all. It just slides off. So now, I don't know if you could tell the difference. This is just the jet setter and this is the jet setter and the ladies night. Two of my well, all favorite lashes, like absolutely favorite. Yeah. Donc, mesdames, pour enlever les petits anchors, les petits aimants qui sont en dessous, je les ai mis pour sécuriser le cil par-dessus parce que je les ai portés pour toute la journée. Fait que euh, je voulais juste un peu plus de sécurisation de ce sens. Donc, je les ai enlevés avec mon ongle. Je les ai glissés tout simplement puis ils se sont enlevés comme ça. Donc, là, j'enlève, je fais la même méthode pour enlever le jet setter. This one, this is the classic liner, eh? Classic so liner runs really well, by the way. <laughs> I didn't actually need the liner. Uh, sorry, the anchors. So they just kind of peel off. But like, um, like the ladies were mentioning earlier, you don't want to just pull off the lash like that because you're going to pull off your natural lashes too. They're magnets and it's liner and they hold. So... Mm -hmm. Look at that. This is natural. 
And, this- and so to clean them off, I know sometimes people talk about how do we clean the lashes? So Andrea's going to show us just really quick what we do. So my lash has quite a bit of residue on it. Wow, I need some practice. So if you see, there's quite a bit. And I just take my nail. I don't use any products. Faut jamais utiliser des produits. J'ai fait ça mon premier essai. Puis je les ai, ils sont fondus dans mes mains. So I think makeup remover, what happened to me was that it just melted my lashes because of the glue and all this. So I, I learned my lesson the hard way to never use products. So I just use my the tip of my nail to scratch the residue off each tiny magnet. And that's all. I don't put anything else. I don't use mascara on these. Nothing. And, then and they last me back. forever. They do last a very long time. And if you put them back in the box and put the anchors back in there uh, and keep them in there, they will last a very long time. So we say about 25 to 30 wears per lash set. And we know that with good care, they last an extra long time. So that is Jet Setter right there. The other thing with the classic liner, um, so when you wash your face at night, the liner I know sticks really well. So we do have this. It's the best makeup remover I've ever had the pleasure of using. <laughs> I also use it, I've been practicing, um, well, not right now, but the wing look. Oh. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but with the wing, I get to use a Q-tip and just touch it up just slightly. Yeah. And it comes off like, so you just like I've never seen. Just like the name says, shake it up. Or shake it off, shake it up. That must be a song name. That's what happens when I try to read it in the screen. Shake it off. So shake it up to shake it off. Uh, I just use a Q-tip, just like Andrea said, dip it in and then just put it on your lash line, wherever that liner is. I usually give mine just a little bit of time to absorb. I find um, our eyelids can be really sensitive. So rather than scrubbing, give that Q-tip time for the shake it off to soak in and then it will come off super easy. In fact, I actually wash my whole face first and get my cleanser all over. And then I come back and do the shake it off because the warm water and the cleanser have already started to loosen it. Um, the only time that we've ever had people, or not the only time, but um, if people tend to have a reaction to it, sometimes it's because they didn't have an oil-based eye makeup remover and they tried to peel it off or they tried to scrub their eyes really hard and then it makes them kind of sensitive. And when you put the classic liner on, um, which it does have some alcohol in it to make sure that it's killing any bacteria or anything that could possibly get in, like mascara would have the same kind of thing, then it can react a little bit. So don't scrub, just you shake it off. It takes, this doesn't take very long, maybe 60 seconds, two minutes when you're cleaning your face and the eyelashes to take off. She's just taken off two more in a matter mm-hmm. of seconds. Uh, the little anchors are also fun. You should ask Renee what happens when the anchors fall in the carpet, uh, and she can give you a couple tips there. So anything else you'd like to say, Andrea, before we head to okay. Michelle, who's up next? Je veux rapidement que le shake it off des maquillants, c'est le meilleur que j'ai jamais pu utiliser à date. Uh, puis il faut juste le brasser rapidement, puis ça mélange. Tu le gardes sur les yeux ou un peu partout que ça active, disons. Puis après ça, ça se lave aussi facile que ça. Euh, c'est le meilleur des maquillants. Puis, euh, je... that's all. That's all for now, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. We will all be back here in a little bit. We have a special guest who's been very patient behind the scenes and we will, we have one more uh, and we have a really super fast demo of something new that I think will actually bring Megan on with Jolene to talk a little bit about the new lash tint. Michelle, get ready. We, after this video, we are coming to you. And I am here with Michelle. She is in Saskatchewan with us. We are spread all across the country. That's the amazing part. We don't have to be in the same part of the country to meet absolutely amazing people. Michelle, tell us all about Tori Bell. We know it's lashes, but what are some of the other things that we can do with Tori Bell? Well, um, I got hooked on Tori Bell because of the lashes, but there is so much more. Um, Some of my favorite products are skincare. 
Um, I used a, a skincare line for 20 years and I now love RSM. It's super um, gentle on your skin. I'm 54 and my twin daughters um, who are 20 also use the same skincare line now. So it's very versatile, very moisturizing. Um, so that's one of my favorite lines that we carry. Also, I love our lippies, um, our Enology, yes. which is based on um, a wine. Um, I'm wearing the, the Bellini, which is one of my favorites. Mine too. So, yeah, so I love our, um, uh, our lippies. The lip stain is what I have on right now. Um, also, of course, our palettes, our eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. Uh, the vintage is what I'm wearing right now. It goes with almost everything. Um, and also for summer yeah, is the sun uh, sunrise, which I love too. So those are two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, and if I had to pick um, what I was the most shocked about is our foundation. Um, yeah. I have super dry skin and it's very hard to, for me to find um, a foundation that works really well for me. I love our, uh, our foundation. So if you're looking for a foundation and you just haven't found the right one and you've been searching, you need to give ours a try. I also love our dry pressed powder foundation in the summer mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because it's not as heavy and it's just perfect. It's You can throw it in your purse and you're good to go. Um, and then our new line, which is health and wellness. I like how you have everything strategically stashed right beside you, ready to go. She's been very patient waiting on the live. <laughs> so drop a comment down below and let us know what you love besides the lashes. You love the lashes. Have you tried the other products? Michelle is going to tell us a little more about a brand new line, which is? Uh -huh. Our elixir and our, is part of our, I guess, health and wellness. I am so excited to get it. Um, I know that it launched in the States probably a week or two weeks ago, and they sold out probably in 10 minutes. So we are next. So the Elixir is basically, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm very excited because I, I love red wine, but I seem to get hung over when I drink it. <laughs> so the Elixir is great for if you... Um, have one to drink and you get a, a hangover it's really good if you're um maybe get sunstroke and you want to get hydrated there's just a whole lot of great reasons plus it tastes really good um that we're we're uh, launching it here in canada so if anyone's interested make sure that you um, let your affiliate know um, to get on the list and we have somebody that mentioned they would love to try the foundation. So make sure you reach out to the affiliate that invited you to this group. I know you were also holding up the Brave products there. Do you want to just show those ones as well? Yes. Those, there's collagen, there's momentum, which has been getting me through June to keep yes. me going. We have uh, pre-workout drinks. We have Metasculpt. We have ImmunoZ. So if you want to sleep better, we have yes. that. There is an Immunolite, which is an absolutely amazing drink with vitamin B that gives you that little boost of energy with zero caffeine. Caffeine and any of the products that have caffeine that I have tried, and besides the detox, I've tried every every other product that we have, and the caffeine does not make me jittery, and I've tried other products, and the caffeine just... Like it doesn't work well for me and some of those other ones. And so this is a very well blended, well created line of health and wellness. So if you're curious about the Brave products, drop Brave down below, tag your affiliate that invited you. And we will do another live later on and share some of that Brave information with you. Michelle, any other products or anything you want to spotlight before we head um, to Well, Jolene? probably um, if I had to pick a favorite, which is really difficult, it's the Ignite Blush Lip Pumper, as you can yes. see. This one's empty. I have always I have one in my vehicle, one in my purse, one at my desk, and it's just my go-to. It goes with everything. So if you're looking for something that you want to moisturize your lips with and maybe get a little bit of plump, um, you definitely will become obsessed with our Ignite uh, Lip Pumper. Yeah. Yes. So the, we do have lashes. They are on sale right now. So drop your favorite lash style into the comments. We are going to go next up right after this video. We are going to introduce you back to Jolene work here. We're going to bring Megan Belt on. I'm not sure if I said that right, Megan, but we'll, we'll get it right. Jolene's going to demo the 24K and then we're going to have a funny little video to introduce some of the opportunity and we'll bring some more people back on the screen. And Megan's going to tell us a little bit more about that. But this is Jolene Works viral video that I believe was at 6.9 million 
Yes. 6.9 million views on TikTok. Drop a comment down below. Let us know if you've seen it. Up next, we will have Jolene and then Megan. <laughs> And that was the video that went viral. And Jolene is the one that invented the amazing lash slide. We are excited to have you back. And I'm going to bring Megan on because she might have some inside tips on the 24K lip tint. But you want to watch this because it's going to change color before your eyes. So welcome, Megan. Megan works with Tori Bell Cosmetics. We're super excited to have you here. Thank you for waiting so patiently. I know it's been a long Monday for you. So this is a brand new product. So Megan, any, uh, before Jolene demos it, any inside tips or how did it come about on the, how we came to the 24K pH lip tint? Oh man, well, that's a great question. Usually our CEO runs into my office and goes, hey, you wanna try something? And so it's just crazy how fast we're able to create products in our brains and mainly in her brain, her, she and product work together to do this, but then also get it to market without cutting any corners in the fastest and, and safest way possible because all of our products are you know, gluten-free vegan, animal cruelty free, paraben free, all the frees. And so it's just, they really are the most incredible products. Um, what's really cool about this lip tint is it actually has 24 karat gold flakes in it. I'm sure Jolene can hold it up and just show you how glamorous and hydrating this is. But then also, just like Stephanie was saying, it changes with the pH in in your skin. So it's always going to be a blush tone of some sort, but it is different on everyone. And it's such a fun experience all on its own. I, I would say all of our 24K products are, are just so, so much fun, whether it's the eyeshadow palette or the Ignite um, plumpers or even our newest product, the 24 karat gold. And one of my favorite things is also the case. You guys, I love the case. It's like a little mirror gorgeous that is. and it's magnetic too so oh i it is and laura was so excited about that she's like i forgot to say that the case is magnetic we love magnets at tori val i feel like everything is magnetic from our liner yeah. to our lashes to our all of our products that's one of the things that i love our eyeshadow palettes is that um our blushes and our foundations they all fit in reusable compacts you can take them. I feel like are really, really great for, you know, Mother Earth. <laughs> Just sustainable products. So, yeah, so much fun. And Jolene, did you put it on yet? I'm We're going to put it on right now. Like oh, Jolene. Girl. She's going to go That's full good. screen here. So I'm going to pull us off and then Megan will be back right after this funny... We'll have Jolene. She's going to talk us through the pH lip tint. And then Megan will be back to talk to us a little bit more about the opportunity. So take it away, Jolene. Hey, I just wanted to quickly show to you this is our um, magnetic clutch. So like Megan was saying, all the shadows can pop out our foundations, all our blush. So, and I'm actually wearing our City Lights shadow palette right now. So it's one of my favorites right now. So pretty. But anyways, let's get to this beauty. So this is amazing. Like we were saying, there's actual 24 karat gold flakes in it, which is great for moisturizing and nourishing your lips. And it changes before your eyes. So I'm going to start with the bottom. I'll just do half my lips. And you can already see the difference. So like we were saying, it's going to look different on everybody. Um, it's going to give a blush tone to everybody, but it's obviously going to look different. Um, it's quite pink on me. It's super smooth, um, goes on like a dream. And we'll do the other side. Very moisturizing. And it's it's like a stain, so it's not going to go anywhere either. But yeah, and the lid just snaps right on, which is fantastic. But there you go. Do so fun. The thing. 
I can't. Stop thinking about it and just do it. I don't have it totally figured out yet. Learn on the go. I don't want to mess it up. But messing up is how we learn. So a funny little video. So if you're worried about the lashes, don't worry, we've got you. And so we titled this segment, how can the lashes work for you? So Megan works at Tori Bell Cosmetics. She's going to talk to us a little bit more about the opportunity, Megan. And if you're okay, I'm going to bring on a few other people to share some of the ideas with you. So let's start with what drew you into Tori Bell Cosmetics and what do you love most about the opportunity? Well, I want to say that our amazing CEO was a mentor, has been a mentor of mine for almost a decade now. And that is one of the things that I love about the Tory Bell opportunity is that if you choose to partner with these incredible women that you've seen today, you are going to begin an incredible business for yourself, but not by yourself. And so when I said yes, I was actually an affiliate with Tory Bell before I ever worked at the corporate office. Before I said yes, what I saw were women chasing and running towards their dreams and their goals and doing something every single day to create success for themselves. And how many times do we sit and think like, oh my gosh, I feel so alone. I feel so unseen. I feel like I don't belong anywhere. But you, you're watching this live right now and I know I know that you're here for a reason and you are connecting not only with the amazing products, but the amazing women on this call. So the one thing that drew me in before anything else were the people. And I'm going to add these people in. I caught Meg's right while she was taking a drink. <laughs> and she was all ready to go right there. And I know Jolene's there and Andrea and Renee and Michelle. So the women are the most amazing part. And of course, Tori Bell is open to men and women. The Brave line has opened the doors to that. But these are the people here that have gotten me through COVID. So Megan, when you said, you know, I know you're watching and connecting with the people here as well. I may not have met Jolene and Andrea and Renee and Michelle and Megs all in person. I have met Megan. I have been to, to Cabo and to Vegas to meet her. And I know Jolene, who just earned the trip, is going to meet her very, very soon. So it is these absolutely amazing women that have pulled together, uh, who I chat with oftentimes just about every day. And all of that makes a huge difference in my life. So Megan, what are some of the other um, parts that you love about Tori Bell and some, you know, some of those other pieces for as a business that you can work it, um, you know, as maybe you just want to earn a little bit extra off on your lashes and you have some friends that would love to purchase. Uh, lots of us said, well, we just, you know, I, I just wear them sometimes. And then we wear them to the basement when we're on nobody's, I don't, I, nobody even sees me and I'm still wearing the lashes because they make me smile. They make me feel more confident. Uh, what are some of the other reasons that people might join Tori Bell? Great question. So when Laura started this incredible business, she, she'd actually never been a, a, a model like this. She'd always had brick and mortar stores. People walked in and they purchased her product or used her service. You know, lots of different businesses from owning an ice cream store to taking photos to coaching people in how to win pageants. And so when she literally developed this product, immediately she saw this vision of how can we disperse and share it with everyone and not just change her life, but the lives of thousands and thousands and thousands and hopefully one day millions of people. And she's like, okay, how about this model? But she didn't stop there. She was like, what about this? What if we add this? So with Tori Bell, what's really unique about the compensation plan, which by the way, I know I'm using big businessy words, but how to earn incredible, but earn are immaculate. I mean, we have a wholesale option. If you know someone that has a salon or a boutique, we have um, an option for gym owners and not just gym like brave products, workout, but cheer gyms and dance gyms and theaters. We have an option for teenagers. If you know of a teen 14 to 17 years old, they can do this in the pockets of time that they have and build a business. And we have hundreds of teens that do this all over the world. No matter where you are in your life, no matter what you do, 
this is for you. And you want to know why? Because it's not just about the most valuable thing when it comes to growing a business with Tori Bell is you. You are 100% the most valuable thing out there. And once people learn about your strengths and your gifts and your desires, that's when they're like, okay, what, 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 what do you have to share with me? As soon as you begin to teach them just as you are, people want to learn from you, you, right? Just as you are right now. And then they want to learn what it is that you care about, that you're sharing with the world. So, I, I mean, there's just something for everyone and we call it flex channel marketing because there are many, many different business models within Tori Bell. But one of the ways that we all started was with reaching out to someone who invited us to an event just like this because they care about us and, and you saying yes. And so Megan, that was an excellent overview of how the lashes can work for you, but how they can also work for you. So whether you want to just dabble in them, whether you want to be full on, this is going to take over your nine to five and fund you in your retirement. We are here to support you in any method that you like. We're not going to go too on too long about the opportunity tonight, but know that it is absolutely available for you. Know that purchase prizes, if you get a part, if you make a purchase before Thursday at midnight, that gets you entered to win comment on the replay comment on the live tag your friends we are going to draw for those affiliates remember every time you're tagging customers you can get entered to win a giveaway and as an affiliate we'll give it to you and you can gift that to one of your customers so let's do a very fast round table actually i'm going to do a quick screen share here and we have a winner i use the stream yard drawing tool and Marie Claude, I bet Andrea can help me out with how to pronounce the name. I think she knows. Marie Claude Bergeron, félicitations. Congratulations. So we will be reaching out to you with the gift card code so that you can make a purchase and get some fun Tori Bell products. So we will also draw in a little bit for another one that caught the live here. Remember that we also have the lashes on sale. And before we go, we are going to do a very quick round table. I think I've still got everybody in the live really fast one thing that you love about Tori Bell. Super fast. This is always the challenge at the end. So I'm giving you a little bit of time. Who's ready to go? I can, I can do hands up. You can tell I'm a teacher. Megs is up first and then Renee and then Tracy. I love this business opportunity because it allows me to pay for my children's competitive dance bill, which if you've ever done competitive dance, you know it's not little. Renee and then Tracy. I finally found a solution to my hooded eyes, small eyes, gaps in the lashes. Fixed all three of them. All in all at once. Renee has an amazing story about how she got into the lashes. You'll have to tune into lash tips to hear about that in the future. Tracy, and then I'll take a hands up of the rest of the people who are here. Uh, for me, it's about personal development. So network marketing and direct sales allows you to really focus in on developing yourself, like Megan said, and you are your biggest commodity to make this successful. So that's me. Whatever you put into yourself is only going to grow your experience and whatever you choose to do from here on in, you will take that experience with you and help you to grow forward. So that is the most amazing part of this. I think we have... Jolene next. And then um, for me, it's community and confidence. Um, it really has brought something out in me. Um, just happy. You feel like you can take on the world and the community is like nothing I've ever experienced. You're never alone. So for me, it's, it's changed my life. And if I can help others make a little difference in theirs, that's, you know, means the world to me. So well said, Andrea, and then Michelle, and then um, Megan, if there's anything you want to add after that. For me, it's almost like all of the above. Um, but I, what struck me most, okay, the lashes are pretty, and I'm totally obsessed. Mm -hmm. And now with the 24k, forget it, my mind's blown. But now that like, we, we got a community here, you know, like I have Angie, I have Lynn, I have Lorena, and like who knows who else is gonna come through that 
opportunity door, but it, and then just meeting all you ladies from coast to coast, like I feel so empowered. It's fantastic. It's such a high. We have, Monday nights are our favorites. We do team calls every Monday nights. That is probably one of the highlights. It not probably. It is the highlight of my week to see everyone there and knowing I have that community to support me, Michelle, and then to Megan, and then we will wrap it up. Oh, we can't hear you, Michelle. Are you muted? Oh, we're going to go to Megan. If you want to go out and come back in really, really quick, we'll come back. Megan, one last thing about what you love most about Tori Bell, and then we will wrap that up. Wow. Okay. One thing. So how'd you guys do this? <laughs> one, um, one thing. I would say the one thing that I love most about Tori Bell is it gives every single individual a platform to share their voice whatever that may be. Yes. And I see Michelle is back, but I can't see, it says device not connected. So if somebody wants to message her really, oh, there, maybe she's coming back. Oh, and she's gone. So <laughs> we'll give her just a little bit more time to come back. My favorite part is all of the amazing women that I have met on this journey and the ones we have yet to meet. That makes all the difference every day. The learning is absolutely amazing. You are never alone. And none of us thought we were makeup artists and aren't makeup artists, but we have amazing people in the community to learn from. The lashes make me smile. I think Michelle is back. Let's check. <laughs> Hi. Yay! Yay. <laughs> um, well, it's very difficult for me to pick one thing, but um, over two years ago, when I saw someone put on the lashes, um, uh, without getting very emotional, um, it definitely has given me the confidence that I never knew I had. And being able to share these lashes with um, anybody I can, and if they can feel a little bit about uh, having more confidence in themselves um, is definitely overwhelming for me. Well said. And I liked Andrea when she said all of the above, all of those are amazing reasons. Drop yours in the comments. This little lash right here, I always say has just a little bit of magic because when I put it on, it makes me smile. And when I put, see my customers put the lashes on, which we can now do because it's COVID, we can actually go out and see people. And so when I see them put them on and the smiles that they have, and I know that energy and that positivity and those smiles and that feeling good and that confidence ripples out into the world. And if you are feeling feeling good about that, that ripples out into your interactions with other people. And so I believe it is true that with one lash, you can change the world. And so thank you so much for tuning in. Drop a comment if you stayed on with us the entire time right to the end. Tag your friends in the replay, tag them in the parts that they think you think would be most helpful to them. Reach out to the affiliate that invited you to this event for any other details that you need. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic evening. Bye-bye.